Hi guys, it's been a while. Welcome back to the Freckle Foodie YouTube channel. I just haven't felt like I've had much to share because obviously a lot's been going on in my life, pregnancy and all that, but I've been doing the what the fuck is happening to my body, what the fuck is happening to my body videos on YouTube, I mean, on IGTV rather than YouTube, and then I just, I don't know, I don't feel like I have other stuff to share, but I wanted to do something fun. I feel like get to know me type things are always, I don't know, they, people like, seem to enjoy them, so we're going to do them. I obviously am not drinking because I'm pregnant, so I thought it would be fun to do a, like, who knows me better, my little sister, Lucy, or my husband, Joe. We're going to ask them a bunch of questions that you guys submitted over Instagram stories. Whoever gets a question wrong will take, like... I guess a half a shot because there are a lot of questions and I'm not trying to like have them totally black out. I'm really interested. They're very nervous about this as if they like have to get all these questions right. I am curious to see how this goes because also like so many of these questions I have multiple answers to. But let's have some fun. All right, guys. We have the chilled tequila with lime and we're ready to go. Lucy has her chaser. Hi to me in the back window. Now... A few questions I did multiple answers to because I just think it's going to be hard. So, first and foremost, what is my biggest pet peeve? Okay, this is a hard question to start with because I actually have a lot of pet peeves. So, I'm going to list out a few. One, just like jackass drivers who like speed around trying to act all fucking cool. Like, I hate that. Um, two, the sound of windshield wipers on a dry windshield. Like, why are your windshield wipers on if it's not raining? Three, like, trolls in my fucking DMs. No, it bothers me. Pet peeve. I know I have more. Leaving the toilet seat up. Well, is it that hard? Honestly, the biggest pet peeve is probably just inefficiency. I just hate when things should be efficient, and they're just not. Like, that's how I feel about adulting. It's just inefficient. There are multiple answers that I gave. I can't, wait, uh, Lucy's phone notifications, fuck. Okay, Joe, that is one of mine, you got it right. Lucy, that is something that really bothers me, but I forgot to say it. Okay. So, Lucy, pour yourself half a shot. Oh. Wait, why Joe, did you say point one. No, I Joe. didn't say it. Wait, but you said if- I mean, you're, accurate. like, it bothers me, but I, I didn't right, put well, it you as- You wrote multiple pet peeves. Yes. I'm so away. It's chilled with lime. You're fine. You need a pre-chaser? Come on. How many piercings do I have? Three, two, a total of five. On one year or total? Total. Lucy's ridding so much. <laughs> Joe. Yeah, Joe's okay, ready? Go. Seven, Joe. No. <laughs> You're both wrong. I have five. Three I thought, I, I and thought, two. I thought two, two, and then up, up across the ear, top of the ear. I don't have any piercings up there. No. A couple? What? Oh, you had those little fake studs in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You had those little the fake studs. The within. No. <laughs> no, so the, They're the acupuncture, the acupuncture studs. Take a shot. This is one shot. You didn't. I should have waited. You didn't want to cheer me. <laughs> <laughs> What is one of the first signs that I'm anxious? My stomach hurts. I don't want to be touched. And I start to like try to control anything I possibly can in that moment. Okay, go. I said headache. Joe, can't poop. <laughs> Joe's right. A headache is an anxiety induced necessarily in sleep. <laughs> Joe, 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 Joe. <laughs> Technically, it was stomach issues, but can't I'm poop is the exact thing. I was going to say stomach ache slash headache. <laughs> Do I even know you? <laughs> They're not. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? Okay, this is tough, so I'm going to give them a few available options. Coffee Oreo from Hoffman's. Mint chocolate chip is up there. Van Leeuwen vegan dark chocolate or the like oat cookie strawberry jam swirl situation or just plain coffee. Any four of those answers would be accepted. I don't know if this... Rum raisin. 
Minshew. Fuck, Lucy, no, that's not right. Joe, you're right. Yeah. Jimmy, what do you mean? It's not one of my favorites. I'll get it if if a place has it. it. Used to Three be nothing, Joe. <laughs> it used to be your favorite. I mean, she gets Van Lieberman. This, is, mentioned. Right. Like, this is, right. is right. I literally oh, gave five options: coffee order from Hoffman's, coffee in general, Van Leeuwen ve- vegan like dark chocolate, back. mint chip, and the like strawberry jam cookie. Crumble. Sorry, Luce. Shot, 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 <laughs> shot, shot. shot. <laughs> What was my worst hangover ever? This is a sad one, but I honestly think it was like a few years ago after like the um, infamous date night with Joe. Like I really think that was the worst hangover I've ever had. We got so fucked up, the two of us. We like were day drinking and then we went to quality meet, quality eats for a few drinks. And then we went, or no, we had dinner. Where did we eat dinner? We had dinner and drinks at Quality Eats. Then we went to Bar Sardine. We each had two cocktails. Then we sold a bottle of wine. Then we ordered a second bottle of wine. Blacked out. Like, kind of got kicked out. But not kicked out. Kindly asked. Like, hey, you guys are really fucked up. Maybe you should go home. Let's cork this bottle for you. On our way home, I realized I forgot my, like, jacket, wallet, phone, everything. So I sprint back to get it. I grab it. And Joe stayed in the apartment. And, like, somehow on the walk back home, I, like, just decided I wasn't going to make it anymore. And the last memory I have is, like, sitting on a stoop and calling my mom, Joe, and Deanna. Somehow I made it home. I have no idea how or what time. Woke up in my bed. Joe woke me up at 10 a.m. and was like, hey, like, do you want to get up? Like, it's kind of late. I was like, what's happening? And he's like, um, I don't, I don't know. And I was like, why are you dressed? He's like, well, I just went for a walk on the West Side Highway. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I, I'm like kind of freaking out. I woke up on the couch and like I woke up, you were in the bed, I was on the couch and you sent me some like really nasty text messages. And I was like, what? I guess like while I was on the stoop, I called my mom literally like 10 times at 2 a.m. Same with Deanna. And then I sent Joe. Joe and I like don't drunk fight or like nasty text i sent him the nastiest text messages that like didn't make sense but it was like i guess you don't care about me i have no idea but that was the worst hangover of my life i remember i threw up everywhere i was like sick the entire day it was fucking hell so that one is definitely one of the worst ones um i don't think that this is the worst hangover but i know you didn't remember it when you guys found the camera the morning after oh that's a good that's a great story but not the worst hangover i said the day. Oh, fuck no! Can I re- can I revise <laughs> when you guys went to Bar Sardine? Okay, Joe. One. I said following tortilla flats when you hit your head on the toilet. Oh fuck! Okay, Lucy, that's the one I actually told. That was the worst hangover I ever had, but that was a really bad night, Joe. Oh, that was. A, I forgot about that night. We're texting him the CDs. Yeah, that's in the story also. What is my favorite dance floor song? This is hard because I just love a good fucking dance floor but probably robin dancing on my own song i'm gonna say some lyrics i don't know the name of it okay that's i can't <laughs> wait i literally have never won anything in my life <laughs> you won me oh dancing on my own yes i think it's the same song i said yeah. robin i'm in the corner yes, okay, yes. Can, can you sing it for us joe nope. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you had to <laughs> sing lyrics i said right there what is my proudest moment I would have to say quitting J.P. Morgan and starting Freckled Foodie or being on the Today Show. Either one are acceptable. Um, leaving J.P. Morgan to start Freckled Foodie slash, I'm, I was maybe going big, maybe I could get both, slash hitting 50K. Okay. Well, the first one's right. I haven't hit 50K oh, yet. No. Joe? <laughs> I said leaving JPM to uh, start. Yes. Well, that will be your second. The second one <laughs> was the Today Show. But way to go, guys. That was right. Who was my first kiss with and where? I was in preschool at Stewart on the jungle gym with a boy named Matt. We packed. My first, like, makeout was in my closet in my bedroom. And I honestly cannot remember if it was one of two people. So I don't know the answer. This is the most submitted question. But, really? But Other than most embarrassing moment, which I don't have, so I didn't ask. First? Yes, first kiss. Then where? Joe? <laughs> Was it Drew at a school? I've never kissed Drew. Max, I said that in seconds. 
Okay, so I, I can't decide if you're wrong, Lucy. I don't know who it was, but wasn't it on the playground? Okay, you're half right. School. School, Okay, half right. Matt on the play, yeah, on the playground of Stuart. My actual first makeout was in my closet in my bedroom, and I cannot remember. Oh, come on. That's it, I'm out. How many Instagram followers do I have? The reason I'm asking this is because Joe doesn't have Instagram, but somehow I feel like he might know this, and that's fucking insane to me. Because he, like, checks on his laptop. Um, right now is 49.2. 49.8? 49.3. Ooh, 49.2. I already feel drunk. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. okay. What is my bra size pre-pregnancy and currently? Pre-pregnancy, 34C. Currently, 34 double D. Um, this is dicey because I don't really know what the numbers or the letters totally represent. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-34C? Yes. And now 36 double D? Uh, um, you're not wrong. 34 or 36 double D. Okay, okay I, said, so I said 36C and 36 double D. So I will give you that both. because I think that would both, I would fit in both yeah. of those. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is my go-to drink order? I'm going to give them a few options, okay? Because it depends on the season. One would definitely be a spicy margarita with Casa Amigos. Two would be Casa Amigos on the rocks with lime. Used to be my drink when I was like in my going out days. Three would be a Tito's Dirty Martini. I will accept any of those answers. Spicy Mart? Spicy Mart? Yeah. I gave a few options, but yeah. What is my least favorite food? Without a doubt. Without a doubt, raw onions. Don't fucking come near me with a raw onion. How do people enjoy them? Why would you ever put a raw onion in your salad? Why would you put it on your sandwich? I hate the fact that it's in guacamole. I fucking hate it. Cilantro? No. Yeah. No. Raw onion. You know no, that, I Joe. Was a joke answer. I thought like that thing, the whole thing. <laughs> Why was? Polenta. I know. That was a joke question. Why? <laughs> you wouldn't be a joke question. How many shots have I had? What is my morning routine? Dumb it down right now. I wake up. I poop first thing in the morning, which is a new thing, and it's fucking awesome. I have a glass of lemon water. I Oh, no, sorry. I, okay. First thing, I lie in bed and I meditate for 20 minutes. Then I get out of bed and I poop. Then I have a glass of lemon water while I do my journaling, and then I have, like, coffee and breakfast. I feel like Joe will know that. How many steps do we need? Cuddle Charlie, poop, meditate in bed, then go have your beam and your greens drink or a liquid IV. <laughs> and then make an exit on the coach. <laughs> meditate, poop, journal, poop, eat, poop. <laughs> Joe is spot on. But Lucy, I will count yours because many of those things are correct. What is an alcohol I cannot drink anymore because of a previous past horrific experience? Malibu rum. Can't. That was like the first thing I ever wanted to drink. And like I used to, Maddie used to get me bottles with her fake ID. Can't even smell it. Um, I forget what it's called. This is kind of... I... I'm positive that one of them is like that, what's it called? The coconut rum? Yeah, Malibu. Malibu. That's right. Okay. I was also going to say Fireball. Yes. I oh, I can't have Fireball. Okay. Yes. You said rum. I mean, but I... It, I, I know, not rum. It's rum. What do you mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and Fireball. That's a bonus point. No, but Fireball, I just hate Fireball. Bonus point. Okay. <laughs> right. What is my biggest pregnancy craving? Again, we're going to allow multiple answers because these have changed. One would be sour candy. Two would be the Whole Foods rippled sea salt chips. And three would be the Christopher's Kitchen cinnamon buns. Those are probably, oh, sorry. And four would be fresh fruit or orange juice. I can't choose between them. They are like my children. I don't know if this is it, but I saw, I saw you post on Instagram about it. Chips and salad. Okay, Joe? You said Cinnabons. Oh Joe wins. God. Lucy, I like chips and salads. <laughs> Well, then your Instagram story was misleading. No, I said if you haven't tried this, you're missing out. You said my latest pregnancy yeah, craving. No. <laughs> no. I didn't sign up for this. Who was my childhood celebrity crush? Everyone will get this. Justin Timberlake. No one compares. Do we have to look at this? Yeah. JC. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, done. How old was I when I got my period? 14. 
I was a freshman in high school. I was such a late bloomer. People called me aerodynamic because I didn't have any boobs and like, <laughs> joke is on you now, boys. I don't even know how old I was. Okay. Uh, 15, 16. 14. <laughs> what age did I lose my virginity? I was young, children. Everyone has their own path, but I was 15. Come on. Oh, not wrong. Are you serial? 15? I was gonna say 15. Smart two young kids. What month and year did I quit JP Morgan and start Freckled Foodie full time? April 27th, 2018 was my last day. I will accept April or May of 2018. I will be nice. There is no way Lucy will get that right. I have no sense of time. Not me neither. 2018? Okay. Joe? March 2018? You're very close. That's when the accident was. April 27th was my last day at JP Morgan. 2018. So, guys, bottoms up for the last question. <laughs> hey, Joe, you won. 11 to 9 or 8. What is that? 11 to 8. 11 to 8. Good game. Do you have any closing thoughts, either one of you? Um, <clears throat> I love you. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was very fun for me. I'm actually very impressed by Joseph. Disappointed by Lucy. Not disappointed at all, but impressed by Joe. Um, as always, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. Send me ideas. I like doing ones that you guys are involved in. And just stay tuned for more content.